this first video, I will show you how to compute the sound absorption properties of a porous material with AlphaCell. So first I choose a case study. In this case study we have three materials in the material shelf, an air gap, a facing, and a melamine foam. If I want to use one of these materials, I just have to click on the item and drag it to this area. So now I have 21 mm of a melamine foam backed by a rigid backing and we have plane waves at normal incidence, so with an angle of 0 degree, for the excitation. If I want to run the simulation for this configuration, I just have to click on the excitation button and here is the sound absorption as a function of the frequency for 21 mm of a melamine foam backed by a rigid backing and for normal sound incidence in plane waves. Of course, I can check what is the reflection coefficient, so it magnitude on phase or in real and imaginary parts. And I can also have access to the surface impedance, again, real and imaginary parts. Now I will go back to sound absorption coefficient and change the excitation for a diffuse sound field. So I change your diffuse sound field by clicking on the arrow of the excitation button. Okay. And now I click the excitation button to have a new simulation, but this time for diffuse sound field. All the parameters needed to compute this simulation can be visible by clicking on the parameters panel. So here we can see that we have a melamine foam of 21 mm thick. We can change the thickness to whatever we want. There's an acoustic model, which is Johnson Champuel Lafarge 1, with six parameters. We can see the values for these six parameters here. We will also take into account the vibration of the skeleton for the melamine foam using an elastic isotropic model. So four new parameters are needed. Here are their values. So finally we have a bio johnson shampoo lafarge model for this melamine foam. I can now hide this panel and focus on the results. And I will add a facing on top of the melamine and compare the results to these results we have in the first simulation for the melamine foam, uh, the bare melamine foam. So I click on this icon just to be able to have multiple curves on the same screen and I drag the screen on top of the melamine foam and run the new simulation which appears here in purple. You can change the legend Okay, so the first simulation is melamine foam in diffuse sound field, and the second one is melamine foam plus facing in diffuse sound field. Of course, all the parameters needed to compute the response of uh, the melamine foam plus a facing are again visible by clicking on the parameters panel, and here we have the parameters for the facing, which is a perforated plate, a circular perforated plate, with an elastic isotropic uh, model to account for the vibration of the frame of the facing. We can also access to the melamine parameters again, if we want, and change every value here. Okay, on the main window I can add an air gap and compute the new result, which appears in brown here. And as these three results on the screen have been made in diffuse sound field, I can access to indicators for each curve, which are alpha W, NRC, and SAA.